Hey everyone, so uh, here are a few reasons why I feel like Brock Lesnar is ruining the WWE and taking it back to the 80s where all the the only thing that's good is the big guys and you're making it look like the smaller guys can't do much. I just, like for me, I feel like even though Brock Lesnar is awesome, he's a great wrestler and all that stuff, He's not helping the uh, people that should be holding the title. People like um, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, um, uh, Roman Reigns. Like, even The Miz, to be honest. Uh, I feel like he's not getting a fair shake like he should. Um, uh, for like, and don't get wrong, he's, he has his intercontinental title, yeah, but uh, I'm saying like, he could be, he, he was and could be up, back up where he should be. Um, who else? Finn Balor is another one. Finn Balor sh could be another person, but with WWE now, it seems like it's back to the 80s where it's, it's all big guys all the time and never people like Rey Mysterio Jr. having a chance, like people his size or close to his size having a chance at a top title, whether it's United States or Universal title or the other title, WWE title, I guess that's what it's called. So in my opinion, even though he is great for business because he's making money and helping other people grow and maybe uh bringing the people from mma over to WWE and vice versa it's also not helping the business out because like i said uh people are not having a chance because it's like if if he's undefeated like for example like a goldberg then how are they supposed to actually uh, get people that are really good wrestlers to have the title and have a half decent good run and not just have it for like maybe a month and then, or a couple of weeks and that's it. I mean, for example, they have him versus Braun Strowman at No Mercy. Now, in my opinion, uh, Braun Strowman doesn't even deserve a universal title shot. He is not experienced enough. He is not that, in my opinion, not that great of a wrestler. And he just, he doesn't deserve a title shot, in my opinion. Uh, he hasn't, uh, in my opinion, paid his dues yet. Um, it, it's not a, I mean, I understand why they're doing it, because he's bigger and some people could say stronger, but it's also experience versus um, not experience, not as much experience. So um, I, I like I understand it, but still, he's kind of not helping out the other people. Not to say he's a bad wrestler or a bad person. He's not. Uh, as far as I know, he's not. Even though from what I've heard, he doesn't really like people in general so and and don't get me wrong it, he's helping out paul Heyman's career because without paul Heyman, he's really nothing but a wrestler and you can't just have wrestler you gotta have the promo or else you're nothing really i mean goldberg at least had a little bit of something he had the whole you you're next but i feel like without paul Heyman. It, uh, when he came back, he would be nothing. Like, he wouldn't have the suplex city or anything like that. He People would suggest it or say it, but uh, without Paul Heyman to dig it down your throat, uh, you don't really have much. Same with the un whole Undertaker thing. Even if he didn't have Paul Heyman at the time, he wouldn't have been able to... Uh, promote it or brand it properly because he doesn't have that promo skills and that's the problem he needs a manager like Paul Heyman to do that for him not to say that's a bad thing it's just that if you want someone that can do both then that is not him so anyways 
for me, this is these are some of the reasons why I feel like Brock Lesnar is not really helping the WWE talent. It it's hurting the WWE talent, in my opinion, at least. So, if you agree with me, let me know in the comments down below. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments down below. All I'm gonna ask is don't be mean. Give actual opinions, actual examples, stuff like that, so it can be an actual place for people to talk. That's all I'm saying. Bye.